rocky road. I wonder if it's an edible story. Doesn't smell like there's anything edible in there. Let's have a look. Hmm. This is interesting. I wonder if it's a sleeping bag for a teddy bear or a curtain for a doll's house. No. There's lots of colours, lots of greens and lots of browns. Hmm. Looks like it might be somewhere in the countryside. Hmm. Let's see what else we've got. <laughs> That's not a surprise. We've got some rocks. Of course we have. Which means, because of the title of the story, there must be a road. The Rocky Road. Hmm. It looks a little bit like a farm. There's grassy areas. And then there's fields with soil. Yeah, I think it's a farm. Let's see if our characters can help us today. An old man. He's got a grey beard and grey hair. I wonder if he's the owner of this farm. Be working really hard. It looks a really tidy farm, a well cared for farm. He must have some helpers. Yes, he's got some helpers. Here's one. And here's another. I wonder if this is the father and his two sons. An older son and a younger son. Yes, I know this story, of course. Once upon a time, there was a farmer and he had two sons. His older son worked really, really hard on the farm every day. He sowed the seeds, he collected in the crops, and he made sure that the animals were well fed. He worked really, really hard for his father. And he enjoyed what he did most of the time. And then there was the younger son. <laughs> the younger son. He worked on the farm. He did his bit. But he didn't do it with a smile on his face. He did it quite begrudgingly. It wasn't really what he wanted to do. One day, the younger son asked his father if he could have the money that was due to him when his father died. A strange request, not something that somebody would normally do. But the father loved his son. The father could see that the son wasn't happy on the farm. He could see that he wanted adventure to explore new places. And so reluctantly, and rather sadly, he gave his younger son half of the inheritance that would be his. So much money. What on earth would the younger son do with it? The day came when the younger son had packed his bag, got all of his belongings and said goodbye to his father. A day of such excitement for the younger son. A day of sadness for the father. The younger son took his money and he walked along the rocky road, dreaming of all the adventures he was going to have. He got to the big city, the bright lights, the excitement, the noise. Oh, so, so amazing. He bought a fine house. He put beautiful things in it. He bought the best clothes that money could buy. He went out partying and he bought drinks and food for his new friends. He paid lots and lots of fun adventures until he had just one coin left which he had to put towards the bills of his house. Suddenly 
he was left with nothing. Nowhere to live, no money for food, and no friends. They didn't want to know him anymore now that he couldn't pay for food and drinks, and now he wasn't as fun at the parties. Feeling sad, the youngest son just didn't know what to do. He couldn't go home. He felt too ashamed. What would his father say? He'd have to get a job. But what job could he get? All he knew how to do was care for the animals and look after the farm. He didn't have any other skills. So begrudgingly, he found a job at a nearby farm, caring for the pigs. He fed the pigs, he looked after the pigs, he made sure that the pigs had everything they wanted. And as he did so, his tummy grumbled and his tummy groaned. He could smell the food coming up from where the pigs ate, from the pig trough. Could he? Should he? His tummy was so, so hungry. No, he couldn't bring himself to eat what the pigs were eating. What on earth was he going to do? It just couldn't go on this way. I really, really, I'm no better off than the servants working back at home at the farm. I better go home and I better work for my father as a servant, not as his son, but as a helper. And so with sadness and feeling very, very ashamed, the young son walked back along the rocky road. It hurt his feet as he walked along the uneven ground and his heart was heavy. As he got closer, he could see his father standing at the edge of the farm. He bowed his head more and more ashamed than ever when suddenly he felt these arms wrap right around him into a tight embrace. His father was hugging and kissing him. There were tears of joy pouring down his face. My son, my son, the father said. My son. And the, the younger son said, Father, I'm so sorry. I've just done awful, awful things. I've come back to be your servant. I'm so, so sorry. And the father took his son in his arms again and he said, I love you. You were lost and now you're found. We need to celebrate. We need to celebrate that you're here and that we can be together again. I wonder how the younger son felt as he left home. I wonder how the younger son felt when all his money was gone. I wonder how the younger son felt as he walked back along the rocky road. I wonder if you've ever had to say sorry to someone. I wonder how the father felt when the son left. I wonder how he felt when he came back. I wonder how you feel when you know you've been forgiven. See you next time.